All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to access and use the haptic feedback on your XR controllers. This can be for your Quest, headset, Valve Index, HTC, or basically whichever uses OpenXR. And this is going to be the most easy and effective way to do it, only with a few lines of code. I was looking a lot over all the internet for something that would allow you to go beyond just the normal hoover and grab and on select events. Here we have the typical XR rig setup. I also have a cube that is an interactable, but that's not super important. I'm gonna show you some stuff you can do based on interaction events. Also this project, if you want a VR ready project, you can download this on my Patreon, but let's get to it. So first you want to create a empty scene object that can hold our script or it's not a scene object, it's a game object. I'm just used to the Lens Studio lingo. And down here, you're gonna create C sharp script and we can also call this haptic feedback. And you just double tap on it. So this is all good for now, but what we need to add is using unity engine dot xr using unity engine dot xr dot interaction toolkit and then we want to serialize two fields which is gonna be for um, our two controllers and that's now just copied basically oops there we go and left controller let's give it some space or actually we need to create a function down here called send haptics or I guess it's called a method in unity and C sharp here we need two statements if right controller so basically first we're just checking that this is actually existing and active and if so we can say right controller dot send haptic impulse and the first value here is the intensity this goes up to 1.0 I barely go higher than 0 0.5 the next value is the duration of the vibration and we can do this for both left left and then just for the sake of it being tested to see if it works you can run run it in update and yeah i think that's good now we go back to Unity. Great. We go to our game object. Drop this one in. We need to unfold the XR rig. Drag in the left controller. Drag in the right controller. 
Now we should. Yep, the controllers are vibrating now. Awesome. Obviously, maybe you can hear it. I don't know. You can trust me. So that's a pretty good start. I'll show you also what else you can do. We can go back to our script. Now we need to add a private XR graph interactable. Now I'll show you how you can activate the haptic feedback based on grabbing stuff. And this is basically for our cube. I have in a scene, but you can also set this to public or serialized field or whatever. And you know, drag in stuff in the inspector panel if you want to do that instead. We need to create a new method called awake, which is running before start. Get component XR grab interactable. Now we need to create a method that checks if the cube is being grabbed. Then we return XR. Oops. If it's not no and XR dot is selected. And now we can go into our update function and check if our boolean is true. Yep. Oops. Well, wait a second. Just want to make sure I don't add too many. Uh, yeah, so that means if it's true that we have selected our grab interactable, whatever that is, in our case it's a cube, we're gonna fire this method here and yeah, based on these settings, if we just want to you know activate the left controller you can just comment out stuff no problem so this should technically work oh sorry this is a pool so what we want to do now let's just uh, Disable this one and we go to the cube. We drag in the script, we assign the controllers again. So let's see if everything works now. It will start vibrating when. We're touching the cube and it works. LeBron James. So that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.